yeah, it was, it was a great atmosphere the whole way through. Um, Fast-paced game, sort of stumbling my way through it. Just didn't know, you know, you've got to figure out what end you're bowling and, and who's, who's bowling where, and then obviously the time, the time restraints and all that. So it was fast-paced and exciting. Um, but yeah, stoked to, to win. Can you tell us sort of your reflections on the moment? I guess yeah. that would be the first one game you've played in this format. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, pretty different in terms of yeah. the game. Absolutely, and I think, you know, for me last year, the timings back in Australia aren't great, so I sort of watch highlights and, and you try to watch as much as you can, but sort of being out here and um, being in the thick of it, you know, nothing to So, you know, I think it's a, from my experience so far, I think it's a great sort of um, initiative and a great tournament. So, yeah, hopefully uh, more tight games like this, but hopefully not for us. <laughs> for you personally, I suppose you've set the C21 Cup squad at the end of the year, and I guess staying here is part of the process. Yeah, um, and that's sort of been you know my mantra um, since getting an opportunity to be the travelling reserve of the last World Cup. I just want to be a part of that again, and um, you know now I'm just trying to give myself the best platform to get into that squad, and that's playing against and with the best players in the world. And I've been really, really lucky to, to not only play with Hampshire, but then get an opportunity to London Spirit and rub shoulders with the, the likes of uh, Mark. So, uh, yeah. hey, just on that first ball, like any set plan. Yeah, not particularly. I just uh, I just wanted to get up there and swing it. Um, we initially were going to have a slip in and third man back, and we, we decided late that third man up, and he was the man that eventually caught it. So a little bit of luck in that regard as well. Um, I mean, you know, it's just one of those things. Another day you might miss it, and another day you might go for four. So yeah, it was just good stuff. You know, does that help you, especially in a format like this, like striking early on? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, naturally, for me, there's a little bit of nerves coming in. This is my first game in the hundred, and first game for the spirit. So. Um, couldn't ask for a better start, could you? How nervy was that at the end there on the field? Very, very nervous, and obviously the atmosphere was amazing. So, uh, yeah, I'm just sick of sick of tight games at the moment. Wouldn't mind, a, <laughs> wouldn't mind an easy, cruisy one. So, yeah, but obviously great for the crowd and, and a good turnout. So it was all worth it. How um, much was being said amongst the players there at the end? Was that? I mean, you don't really players? get the chance to, to talk a lot, um, even at the timeout. I was sprinting in to get a drink, and by the time I got there, I was had to get back out. So. Um, but Morg's really good in those situations. He's obviously very experienced and as a, as a, as a bowler, um, having his calming influence and telling you to calm down and slow down, um, it's invaluable. Yeah. Just yeah. one. Oh, last one. A bit of improvement there, though, with like the wides and things and the no balls at the end. Yeah. Is, is that down to the atmosphere or is it just one of those things? No, I think when you, especially with like things like wide yorkers, I think um, you'd almost rather miss wide. Um, so it's one of those things and on another day they might not be caught on another day you might nail them it's, it's all those sort of things it's a bit of cat and mouse so um, you know I'm, I'm happy with those those wires being bowled it's probably the balls in between that we want to want to execute and that, you can put that down to the first game first game jitters uh, first game in a new team we have a three day lead up so um, that's, how, that's my excuse anyway uh, it's, yeah, yeah. it's a new format for you as you have said that this is your first 100 game so what difference have you found it with the uh, T20s as a bowler and especially as a bowler when you might have to bowl 10 balls on a trot in, in the depth? Do you think that that is that can be a concern? Yeah, I think, well, for me it's a concern. I don't know if I can get through 10. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think it's obviously just another... I think this whole format makes you think on your feet. Um, and I think you even saw tonight we... We bowled a couple of our spinners 10 straight, and I don't think that's a plan going in. I think it was, you know, you, you bowl your five and then you assess the situation and you go again. Um, but as you said, it's the second second year of the tournament. I think everyone's still learning and finding the best, you know, the best uh, strategic, uh, strategies. Um, and I think that'll evolve as, as the more games progress. How good is it to start off with a win? And how's the team atmosphere like? So good. I couldn't tell you about the atmosphere. I'll get up there and I'll let you know. But um, <laughs> yeah, I was just saying before, I feel like I have lost majority of my first games of tournaments and I think that uh, keeps the nerves of the tournament still in the change room so to get the first one out of the way and I think it took a while last year for the boys to get a yeah, win as well yeah. so to get the first one out of the way and get on the way I think you know that'll be um, a big, big sigh of relief. Amazing, hope you continue it. Thank you very much, cheers.